Let's get brutally honest on why this driver is going so far. And sadly, it might not be the answer that you potentially want to hear. Oh, she was hit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go now. <laughs> However, I've had one of the best sessions of practice in an incredibly long time, reaching speeds that I've only been dreaming of for the past six months. So before I get into the secrets of what I've been doing in that time and the equipment that I'm using to reach these speeds, let's go through the session. As you might be able to tell, I got a tiny bit excited. Right, let's get some PBs for the channel. Let's get some distance, guys. Oh, that's hit well. 129 club head speed. Oh, we're feeling good today. 365 is the starting point. 130, I've got it on camera. 130 miles an hour. I have waited so long to get that number. Oh, we're moving in the right direction. 130 club head speed. Oh, she's well it as well. 131, one. yes. One after another, back to back. Oh, 140 miles an hour might be achievable at this point. Another year worth of work. Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, massive snap hook, and let's be honest, wouldn't count whatsoever. But these are numbers I've never hit. Oh, can we break 190 ball speed today? Oh, I feel like I've got so much more left in the tank as well. <laughs> Nothing like golf to humble you. Fair, the big thing that I've realized today is getting my arms away from myself. So I've got space to clear through. And obviously, get into that golf ball. I'm not recommending this for anyone that's trying to hit a fairway, however. <laughs> Again, I'm just around 130. I can't express how happy I am that I'm around 130 consistently. The idea is to at least get up to 140. Oh, that 130 is now haunting me. Come on, I want a 131 again. 362. What is it? 374 to the green. Oh, come on. We've got to be able to reach it today, surely. We've got to reach it today. Oh, that felt good. That felt fast. I don't even want to know the numbers. What did we have? 129 club head speed. What was the ball speed? 186. Pathetic. <laughs> I want to scream and shout, but then people outside might hear me. Right, come on. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a quick one, this. Get psyched up for it, Simon. 130 again. <laughs> It's gonna be the number that now haunts me. This is why golf's such a good game. I've been after that for six months. Gym, swing work, five weeks in here, hitting golf balls, and now I've achieved it. It doesn't mean anything. Same as golf, you get down to breaking 80, and you're like, great, but then you expect to break 80 every single time. Oh, I felt like I caught it again. Keep dragging it. Off to the left-hand side. Oh, come on, we want that 375. Let's get up to that green. Let's join on the green club. She's up there. Oh, she's coming down soft. Get up, get up. 360 seems like the benchmark. And I've broken my tee, which is disappointing. 130 club head speed yet again. I'm definitely start to feel my hands hurting now. Oh, that's fast. 130, come on. Let's get 190 ball speed. We're going for that 190 now. Don't care where it goes. Let's let everything loose. Everything go, caution to the wind. I just want numbers, forget distance. I'm still trying to hit it straight. Forget straight. 190 ball speed, 131, yes. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Yes. I mean, it didn't go anywhere near as far as the others. It's gone shorter, but look at it. 190 pool speed, come on, get in there. Even though we've been in the gym for six months, there's so many things I can improve on. We've only been hitting balls realistically for five weeks. Even then, I haven't really been practicing that much because I've been teaching in here so much. Second-hand club fits, you name it. Therefore, you give me a year 
of constantly practicing, structuring it better. There's always ways to improve. But that was amazing. Come on, here we go. Always going to happen, isn't it? Oh, we had a skip. One, three, one again. I can feel it. I can feel it. Especially the top of the swing. It's this here. And then it's, that's why you see all of them go like this afterwards. It's that constant feeling of that. So all about timing. Strength helps. But it's that effect. I can feel it when it comes out. Look, 189 ball speed. Just because you get that kind of lag straight through it. I need higher tees. Maybe I'll find some high tees in a minute. Not quite sure what I found in one of the bags I bought ages ago off Facebook. But this could be the answer without it breaking my driver, that is. And we broke the tees straight enough. <laughs> right, we found some wooden tees. Imagine I'll probably get shot each out of all of them. And my hands are now burnt. So sore. Come on, we're going for raw distance now. Oh, that could be good. I mean, the club head speed's relatively low, but the spin looks absolutely perfect. Get up on that green, get up on that green. Go, go, go. Oh, they are the numbers you dream of. Just needed to be two miles an hour faster. I mean, look at the difference a T makes as soon as you can tee it up high. I just need that at 140 miles an hour. But considering where we are at the moment, boys and girls, it looks achievable, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to hit that green. I would love to hit that green to show the progression of where we've been to where we are now. Come on, here we go. Oh, it's gonna curl too much left in that. Keep that club face beautifully at the target. Oh, she was hit. She was absolute. One, three, one club head speed. Oh, be right on the spin. Be right on the spin. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Russell up, go. No. <laughs> oh my. Really? Really? <sighs> Can't believe I've got one, three, one straight. One, three, six, seven total distance. Better, better. Nowhere competitive, but it's a starting point. It is a starting point, ladies and gents. I need to order a load of high tees. Oh, come on. That's not fast enough. I've got a blister on my hand. I can feel it. Oh, that's ripped the skin that has. All oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Our bed speed, 131.2 is the fastest we were able to produce today, but you can see consistent 129, 130, 130, 131. Really exciting. So let's talk about how I've been able to gain this club head speed and equipment has made a difference. Not the head, however, the head is conforming USGA spec. And to be honest, even though the RNA USGA have limited pros or elite amateur events to 46 inch length shafts, you can still use a 48 inch shaft in long drive competition. And to be honest, in your local monthly medal, I don't think anyone's going to stop you to add that length to your driver. However, there is one downside of adding length. As you can see from my dispersion on the top left hand side, it's harder to control. And many long drive competitors themselves are opting to the 46 inch length shaft. And I definitely wouldn't reach the club head speed of 131 today if I hadn't had that extra two inches. With that all being said, however, a couple of miles an hour in terms of difference. So for a lot of you guys, looking to gain distance out on the golf course, two miles an hour club head speed, three miles an hour club head speed isn't really going to make all that much difference unless you understand those numbers in the background. Which brings me on to reason number two and a bitter pill to swallow is my numbers have drastically improved since having this. 
Understanding what makes a club go faster, what kind of technique, what leg movement, how long the length of swing, the timing, tempo, everything else. So being able to swing the club with only one number in mind, i.e. club head speed, has been a massive factor. But I'm not saying you need an expensive piece of kit like I have do behind me, even though I love the software and the way it's all set up for my coaching and club fitting, as well as obviously my long drive practice. All I'm saying is find something that can measure your club head speed, even if it's not massively accurate. Even at the bottom end of the scale, like a top tracer range, yes, it's gonna throw out some kind of funny numbers here or there, but if you mark down week by week and see an average of an increase in club head speed, forgetting altogether where the ball goes, you will slowly start to notice your, your driver club head speed increasing. However, the hardest thing to gauge and get right when it comes to longer distance drives is getting accurate spin numbers and accurate launch and angular attack numbers because these are the bits in the equation that gets the ball to go up, increasing your carry, but then also the run out. Which brings me on to technique is king. Forget the driver, forget the shaft. Finding those right numbers, getting a decent swing path and angle attack is so important when it comes to the driver. And I've shown countless lessons how to gain distance while swinging slower. Club head speed isn't always the answer. And realistically, the last thing I ever work on with anyone because trying to get the numbers right is gonna make such a bigger difference to your distance and potentially a quicker fix than spending six months trying to gain a few more miles an hour. If you like this video, you can potentially you might like this one up here on the right hand side. Catch you guys later.